it recording? I hope it's recording. All right, what's up? Um, yeah, so I uh, I just recently started playing this game GeoGuessr. It's pretty popular on YouTube right now. Um, I'm level 20, but you can get to level 20 pretty quick. I'm still pretty much a beginner. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a series about this uh, uh, this map of famous places because um, I really don't know um, anything about geography or famous places and so I thought we would maybe play this and with each famous place we get maybe uh, look it up over here on Wikipedia uh, oh what's today's featured article shadow okay yeah we'll look we'll look up uh, each place on Wikipedia try and find a couple fun facts about it maybe learn something while playing GeoGuessr um, cute okay all right let's let's just see how this goes I'm really bad at this um, no time limit moving wait no I'm gonna wait Def let's just do the default settings and see what happens here oh this looks familiar why does this look so familiar oh this is a uh, this is in this is in Paris. Oh wait, is this the is this the Notre Dame, or is this a different place in Paris? No, that's the Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean before the fire, of course, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure this one. I've been there a couple times. It's on a, one of these islands. There it is. Temporarily closed. Yeah, this is probably a pretty old photo now. Um, looks like we are right about... I don't know what this is. Oh, man. But honestly, we it's pretty much like right where we are, I think. Kind of in line with that little green. Let's just go here. Nice. All right. That was a pretty solid start. See what we can let's see what we can uh, learn about this. All right, it means Our Lady of Paris. That makes sense. What are, let's learn about the let's learn about this fire. Let's see how how close it is to opening up again. Reconstruction. There's still a hole in the top of the church. They're building a replica. More oak trees. September. Safety work is completed. It's now fully secured. Reconstruction would begin with a few months. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully it uh hopefully that reopens soon, but I think we got pretty lucky starting with that one. Um that one's pretty straightforward, so let's see if we can get something a little bit more obscure to learn about. Okay, this is the Louvre. I recognize the um, pyramid, that glass pyramid thing. So we are still in Paris. So we are not getting obscure ones this time. Now where? Oh, there it is. Um, now where is? Pyramid du Louvre. So now where are we? Looks like there's a, there's another little pyramid to the side of it, but that... Oh wait, there's... How can we figure this out? The sun... Do we have a compass? No, we don't have a compass. Although, okay, so it looks like the building is like enclosed on these three sides and it's open on one. So we just need to find, so it looks like this is all building and then this is open. So my guess is we're right over here. We're kind of at the tip of that. So I think I think we're right around here. We're 
in line with the end of this one and kind of the tip of the little one next to it. So, I mean, it's got to be here, right? Nice. Okay. All right. Perfect round so far. Let's see if we can find a fun fact here. We, we may not, it's, it may, it, it might be too just common of a thing to find anything interesting about it, but. Mm. Ooh, controversy. Napoleon the first. Hmm. Conditions for the workers of the Louvre and New York University construction sites on Sadiat amounted to modern day slavery. Wow. Okay, that is that is a fun fact. So let's move on here. Here we go. This seems pretty obscure. I have literally no idea what this is. Maybe if we follow this, it'll take us to something. It's really just a path through the woods. There's some people. Maybe we can read this sign next to them. Thomas Jefferson. Hmm. So I wonder, the only thing I can think of, is Thomas, is Thomas Jefferson on Mount Rushmore? Oh, I should know that. I have no idea. Oh, it definitely is Mount Rushmore. Sweet. Okay, so we can find that. That is South Dakota, I believe. Kind of embarrassing. I should know this better. But where in South Dakota? Hmm. Well, it's definitely got to be in one of these like foresty areas, right? Hmm. Oh, Rush No More RV Resort and Campground. That sounds promising. The General Store. It's not in North Dakota, is it? Theodore Roosevelt National Park. That how square these these grasses up here. It's like Minecraft. This is, see, this is like the fun, this is going to be the fun fact about Mount Rushmore is just where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Found it. Looks like it's near Keystone, South Dakota. Okay, so now we need to figure out where we are we're on a walking path up here looks like the faces i'm trying to see here on i don't know which way the faces are facing the sun should be in the south so we're in the northern hemisphere, so maybe they're facing south. I have no idea if that's the right way to do that. This looks like parking. So presumably you walk up here 
maybe they're up here and so maybe we're somewhere on the presidential trail we're kind of to the let's see which way does this trail go it kind of goes so maybe we're somewhere over here can we find this like weird bend what happens around this bend who am i kidding i'm not gonna i don't want to take the time to do this Let's just uh, let's just take a guess. Just guess right there and see what happens. Okay, all right, that's fine. We lost three points. I'll take that though. That's not bad. All right, that I we already we already know the fun fact for this. When was this even made? Keystone, South Dakota. Well, 1927. Great. And now we know, now we know where it is. So we will not make, you think it would, I kind of like expected it to stand out more. Now I guess it, now looking at it, I guess it does stand out, but South Dakota, there we go. All right, let's see what, we have next oh, a double man. Oh, that's cool. Oh my, okay. And is that us? Or we're coming out of that guy's arm, so maybe he's holding the camera. And we cannot move at all. There's no arrows. So that is what we are working with. So I have zero hope that we're actually going to be able to get this right, but that's good because it's the first one we don't like immediately recognize. So maybe we'll actually be able to learn something from this one. I, I, for some reason I'm getting like Eastern European or Russian vibes from this. Oh, there's a, oh my, there's a compass right there. Oops. All right, so we are facing West. I don't, we can't really like tell what the sun or where, which hemisphere we're in. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because I have literally no idea. I'm just going to, let's just, let's just find a place in Eastern Europe. Why don't we go with, let's go with a place in Ukraine. Let's, let's. Search these cities until we find something that looks like a monument or one of those that has like one of those little like castle icons. Post office. Well, these places are probably too small. Does this one have one? Sunni. Medical Institute, station. Huh. Here we go. Photo, photo opportunity. Let's just go there. All right, we were very far away. It was a gloomy day in France. Let's see where we, where we were. Um. Chambord. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Is this what the famous thing we're looking at is? Vast Renaissance Palace in a Wooded Park. That must be it. Chateau de, Chateau de Chambord. Let's see. Let's see if it's on here. There it is. Oh, it's one of the most recognizable chateaux in the world, of course. Because it's very distinctive French Renaissance architecture. That's a pretty good view of it. Captain Bird's Eye View. That looks pretty sweet. I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna get it from here. Okay, is it possible to go back in here and see? Interesting. It was a, built to serve as a hunting lodge for Francis the First.
Interesting. All right, well, now that we know that it is one of the most recognizable chateaux in the world, we will not make that mistake again. All right, I like that. It was the first one we didn't really know about. Looks like that's kind of like what this place is known for. Let's see what our last round is. City of Westminster. So I think this is London, right? Is that how that works? Um, oh, I should know this. This is embarrassing. It's the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's a church. Let's see if we can find it. I think Westminster, there it is is a part of London. Let's just look for any, like, um, oh, is it Westminster Abbey? Is that what it is? Let's see, where are we? So it's kind of at an angle. It's kind of at an angle to the road that it's just in front of. I should, I should have just moved and gone closer to it. There's probably a sign for it. That's, that's got to be it, right? Yeah. Because then we were, we started back here. So there's this big kind of triangular open space. Oh, maybe that isn't it. Is it? I, I don't know what other huge, I mean, look how big it is. I don't know what other huge uh, monument, famous place would be in Westminster. Westminster Cathedral? No, that's perfectly in line with the roads. All right, I, it's gotta be Westminster Abbey. So now we gotta figure out where we are. Why do I get this weird feeling that this isn't right? Let's see, what's, what's across the street? Queen Elizabeth II Center. Oh, the Palace of Westminster. Oh, Big Ben is nearby. It's a cool area. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing when I inevitably get this wrong. Hmm. Okay, Westminster Abbey Shop, so we are definitely in the right spot, that's good to know. So, oh, maybe are we on this side of it? Where's this Queen Elizabeth thing? There's the central hall. No, so that's got like, there's got a like green on this side of it. Oh, there is green. Maybe we are on that side of it. Yeah, and then there's the central hall. That must be the central hall. And then what is this? So that would basically put us, is there this little, oh, that makes sense. So. It's not a triangle of nothingness. It's a triangle that you can go into and there's that statue. Okay, so we are in the right spot. So how do we go back to our original spot? I don't remember. Well, hello there. I think we were up this way a little bit. Kind of up this road. Oh, return to start. There we go. Okay. So we are on Great Smith Street. There. Okay. So it's basically like right where Great Smith Street is meeting up with what I'm assuming is Victoria Street. So we are going to go right here. Nice. All right.
So now we need to learn about what the Westminster Abbey does. Let us see. Gothic Abbey Church makes sense. Most notable religious buildings and traditional place of coronation and a burial site for English and later British monarchs. Oh, so that's where the royalty gets coronated. Interesting. Wow. When did that even last happen? Royal Weddings, 2011. Great. So that is super famous. Glad we were able to find it. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, no, how do I, shoot, how do I see my summary? Dang it. Maybe I can change my activities. There we go. Oh, no, wait. Okay. Oh, here, here are my uh, my test. Oh, this was my test one. I did, did terribly. Okay, so famous places, 19,997 points. That seems pretty good. I mean, we got kind of lucky at the beginning. Um, but then we learned a few things, I think. Um, so, yeah, maybe my goal for next time will be to break 20,000. Um, but, yeah, that seemed like a pretty good game overall. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you later.